Near the site of the ancient Olympic Games, Greek villagers watch on in bated breath as the flames lap at the horizon. Despite evacuation orders, many have decided to stay, choosing rather to help emergency crews battle the large blazes which threaten their homes. Leave? And go where? And let my house burn down? If we'd left, the place would have burned. We told the women and elderly and kids to go. And whoever was able stayed to help, however they could. Just 20 kilometers north of Athens, a second inferno has already left several homes decimated, while authorities also urgently escorted residents to safety from the nearby island of Evia, where a third blaze raced through. Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis has called the blistering wildfires the clearest indication yet of climate change, following Greece's worst heat wave since 1987. We are talking about unprecedented conditions as many days of intense heat have proceeded, which have turned the whole country into a powder keg. If an evacuation order is issued from an area, please comply. Houses are being rebuilt and trees will sprout again, but human life cannot be replaced. The Civil Protection Agency says the fire threat across southern Greece is set to increase throughout Friday, with six regions placed into a state of red alert. The country's finance ministry has meanwhile announced emergency payments of up to 6,000 euros for people who have lost possessions to the fire.